Hope everything's going great in your world. We're going to be talking about some things from Goodman Games today, including what's going on with Gather Town, what's coming out recently, and some more about Empire Cyclops Con, and um, the Day of Might just happens to be happening. So we're going to go over that a little bit. And then, inevitably, we'll be feeding the Cyclops. Hello again! We're here talking to you guys. I'm Brett Brooks. And I'm Susan Polite. And there's several things happening with Goodman Games that we thought you guys might want to know about. The first thing we're going to talk about, I believe, Susan, you wanted to talk about Gathertown. Yes, over at Gathertown. The first right thing now. we shall talk about is how I shall destroy you both! <laughs> and in honor of the season, I will drink your blood from the skull of Jess McDivitt! Ha <laughs> ha! Who shall be the first to die? Shall it be you? Yeah, no, 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 you know, huh? you need to calm down. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just... Cyclops not scared. <laughs> what, what, what is it? Uh, I think uh, it's gnomish ale. Yeah, that sounds good. Gnomish uh, ale. Yeah. As long as the gnome died horribly. <laughs> I, I think they pickle it in the bottom of the bottle. To the subscribers. <laughs> Susan, you wanted to talk about Ga Gather Town and what's been going on there. Yes. So over in Gather Town, we've got the map live for our Citadel of the Cyclops. And every Friday night until the convention, we're going to have pickup games going on. And they're going to be taking place in the Inn of the Slumbering Drake. So come on over there between 6 and 8 p.m. And there will be folks there running games. And you can come in and run your own games as well. There will be folks running from their lives from me! <laughs> Woo! Gnomish! We'll, we'll be posting links for Gather Town every Friday night on the Goodman Games website, so you can find it there. You can find the link to the Goodman Games website below. Ooh! With... And speaking of the horrible things that are going on around us, <laughs> the new DCC Horror Adventure oh. has recently come out. It Consumes by Terrifying Thorin Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> this lovely adventure has you and your adventures going into a village that's been overrun with something, but you're not quite sure at first. Everybody seems to enjoy eating. <laughs> that's the stuff! <laughs> Indeed it is. But you can, if you order that today, you should be able to get it for your uh, Halloween adventures, and you'll be able to download the PDF version of it immediately. Plus, there are six other DCC Horror modules that you can go grab from our PDF store, and you can find these also at your local gaming stores. We invite you to grab them and have a fun and happy Halloween. Yeah. I can handle it. <laughs> Enjoy drinking this. Definitely. Oh my god, it's a joy that you just... <laughs> We've got oh, yeah. <laughs> there, there are some new modules here. Susan, if you would. We've got some new printings of some of our classic DCC funnels out. We've got Hole in the Sky. Which is a fantastic funnel. I have played this one myself and I have It's a killer! It. So many have died! Frozen in All Time by in. Mike Curtis. Some guy yeah. named LaSalle wrote that one. Ah, yeah. Mortal! Mike ah. Curtis wrote Frozen in Time, which can be run as either a first level or a zero level funnel. And then we've got this new printing of Sailors on the Starless Sea, which is our most popular adventure. And this one includes this beautiful gatefold oh. cover by Doug Kovacs and uh, some new artwork on the inside as well. And it's a wonderful adventure to run. If you've not played it, you probably should. And if you can catch them, it's kind of hard to see probably. But they've all got foil covers now. This The logo here is, is done up in foil. So you've got this really cool look, and you can show it off and have fun with it. Need another shot? <laughs> I do need another shot, yeah. We should do this a lot more times. <laughs> Seriously, why don't we ever just, just hang out anymore? Exciting and new. I'm a boy. And we also wanted to let you know that Nominations are now open for Goody Awards. What's a Goody Award, you say? Well, this is one. Both <gasps> Susan and I are proud recipients of Goody Awards. We've won them in the past two years. Mm -hmm. Good going down. <laughs> and Goody Awards for are for judges or people in the community that have just kind of gone above and beyond 
judges that have run amazing adventures, uh, people that have contributed to the community, and just folks that you think are awesome and deserving of recognition. All those folks who've stepped up when they need yeah. to, and especially represented Goodman Games in a great way. So definitely think about who you would like to nominate for a Goody Award and send that information to info at goodman-games.com and let us know. We'll, we'll have the link below. I will stuff you all in a goodie bag and throw you in the back of my chariot! <laughs>
Okay. Hey, you think you could introduce me to that skull guy? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>